Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy Spina and today we're going to make pasta. Okay, so I'm going to make spaghetti with sausage and uh, olives. Okay, so this is a personal favorite uh, and I created this based on the ingredients that I would want to include in my pasta. So I, I was the one who developed this pasta so I hope you also enjoy it. So for the ingredients, going to need one half cup olive oil, one whole garlic, one onion. I need around three to four pieces of green chilies, but I only have one available here, so I'm going to use it anyway. Two green and two red bell pepper, one half cup black sliced olives, salt and pepper to taste. 2 to 3 tablespoons dried basil, 1 kilo whole ripe tomatoes, 1 pack of Chomps breakfast sausage. So, this sauce will be enough for uh, 1 half kilo of uh, spaghettini. So, I'm using this brand, spaghetti number 4. Okay, so let's start. or siling pang sigang. Uh, you can use 3 to 4 pieces of this or sometimes I even add 8 pieces depending on the spicy, uh, spiciness level that I want. Okay, Since I only have 1 piece, so I, I will be using only 1 piece. Okay, so we have here 2 red bell pepper and 2 green bell pepper. So I'm going to just slice it into strips. Nandito na lahat ng gulay. So, I'm going to turn this on. And then, I'm going to put olive oil. One half cup of olive oil. Okay. So, you can choose whatever brand of extra virgin olive oil that you would want. So, I'm going to use my uh, rose gold. Okay. Measuring cup. So, this is my new toy. While waiting for this to cook, matagal to, uh, just make sure na hahaluin nyo lang yung ilalim. Tapos pag medyo, uh, when it starts to stick at the bottom, I'm going to put a little bit of water uh, to prevent it from sticking. So that, uh, I will make sure that all the vegetables are really soft and mushy because it's the one that's going to create the body for our sauce. Okay? While waiting for this uh, sauce to cook, I'm going to slice my sausage. Okay? So I'm using... I'm using chops uh, from Pampanga's Best, okay? So, you can, uh, uh, I originally used uh, Santi's Hungarian sausage, but sometimes, uh, mahal, di ba? So, naghanap ako ng alternative na mas mura, syempre, alam nyo naman sa panahon ngayon, we need to budget and kailangan natin magtipid. So, tinikman ko to and I find it uh, okay na, Deli masarap na siya to use on this uh, recipe. So, if you want to use other Hungarian sausages, uh, okay lang. So, this is, uh, I bought this at the grocery. This is 196. Okay? So, 196 yung nakalagay dyan. Okay? So, iba na ko lang yan dyan. So, habang niluluto nyo yan, kasi matagal yan, you prepare your uh, sausage. So, you just slice your sausage like this. So, by its size siya. Okay din to guys, pang baon ng bata. Masarap siya. Sa lahat ng mga local na natry ko, ito yung, mga pina ito yung isang sausage na pinaka-favorite kong gamitin sa pagluluto. Saka masarap din siya sa almusal. Ang tawag nga nga nila dito, breakfast sausage.
So I, I usually do this beside my uh, my pot. So once in a while, I'm going to mix it. Yan. Haluin ko lang siya. So mamaya makikita niya, matutuyo yan. Buo-buo pa yung mga bell pepper, yung mga ano. So hintayin ko nung medyo, uh, medyo madurog siya ng konti. So after around mga 5 uh, to 7 minutes, this is how your sauce will look like. Okay? So if you're using a wok or a kawale at home, uh, this will be more evaporated kasi mas open yon, mas mabilis yung evaporation. So, since uh, I'm using a deep dish, okay, so mas malalim siya, I don't think I, I'm going to uh, need to add water later on kasi hindi siya natutuyo ka agad, okay? It doesn't evaporate, hindi siya kumukonti. So, at this point, I'm going to season our uh, our uh, sauce, okay? So, I'm going to use uh, one teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Okay, so one teaspoon of black pepper. So, ang kit ng ano ko. Uh, ito yung mga uso-uso ngayon, di ba? Yung uh, rose gold na measuring cup. So, I'm going to use uh, basil leaves. So, it looks like this. Durog-durog siya. Okay? So, if you have fresh basil, you can just adjust the fresh basil depending on uh, how much you want. Kasi basil is an acquired taste. Okay? But I find that uh, this works, basil works well with tomatoes. So, I'm going to put 3 tablespoons of this. Okay? So, it's quite a lot para sa inyo, pero uh, it's going to taper down. Yung, yung lasa niya magme-mellow habang niluluto natin with the sauce. Okay? So, I'm going to use 3 tablespoons of basil. So, malakas akong guma gumamit ng basil. I, I like basil. And then, we're going to put uh, salt. Okay? So, yung salt na to, may pepper na rin. Nilagyan ko ng konting pepper dun. Oh. Cool peppercorns. Kasi nasira yung ano ko sa pepper. It, it's okay. Kasi salt pa rin naman yung, yung nandun sa bunga. Okay? Yan. So, salt is uh, according to taste. So, mamaya ko na lang siya i-adjust, titikman ko kasi I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to put salt in my pasta while cooking. Okay? Kaya ayokong mapaalat yung sauce ko. So, para mas matagal tong mag-evaporate nang hindi siya masyadong mag-evaporate. So, uh, meron ako ditong nakaabang na 1 cup of water. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore kasi hindi siya masyado nag-evaporate. It's not the typical uh, Filipino pasta that, that we're used to. It's more fresh in taste. And uh, it's not to... Uh, hindi siya nakakaumay. Okay? Hindi siya masyado nakakaumay. So, mga, you will notice na yung kamatis wala na. Oh. Durog na siya. So, ang medyo natitira na lang yung bell pepper. Which is okay for me kasi okay lang sa akin na medyo buo ng konti para parang may decoration naman yung pasta natin uh, once it's all mixed together. Okay? So maybe I'm going to simmer this uh, another uh, this has been simmering for 15 minutes already. Okay? So uh, maybe mga 15 minutes I will add uh, maybe 5 to 7 more minutes before I put my uh, sausage and my uh, sliced black olives. So after around 20 minutes of simmering, your sauce will look like this. So this is the time I'm going to put my sausage, okay? So put the half uh, kilo sausage sliced. So if you want to stir fry your sausage, uh, you can do so, no? Ako, I don't find it uh, necessary. But if you want to have the slightly... Uh, brown color for the sausage. You just stir fry it with a little bit of oil. Uh, kaya lang, I will simmer it naman. Kaya maluluto pa rin to dito. Okay. You can add your uh, black olives. Uh, again, one half cup. This is uh, optional. So, pwede yung hindi ilagay yan if you don't like black olives or if your kids doesn't like black olives. Or if you don't have any available, don't put it. If you want to put mushrooms instead, you can put mushroom. So, 
So again, I need to simmer this for uh, maybe around 3 to 5 more minutes. And then I'm going to turn it off while waiting for my pasta to uh, my sauce, uh, my pasta to cook. Okay, so it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit bland, okay? So, dagdagan nyo na lang ng asin according to your taste. After 5 minutes, uh, this is how it looks like. So, yan. Kita nyo? Yan, durug, durug na yung kamatis. Tapos medyo durug na rin yung uh, bell pepper. Okay? So, balik ako ulit pagka luto na yung pasta. So, sauce is done. Okay? Luto na tong sauce. So, let's cook the, the, the pasta. Dito na lang ako magluluto sa loob. Para makita niya. So, kailangan ganito. Rolling boil yung ating uh, pasta. Yung water. And then, tsaka pa lang ako maglalagay ng salt. So, maraming asin. I'm just using ordinary rock salt. And then, I'm going to add uh, oil. Tsaka ako lalagay yung pasta. So, kailangan ma, ano, ha, malakas yung apoy mo. Pinuputol ko yung pasta ko kasi nahirapan akong mag, uh, sumusot dun sa sa butas ng aking colander, pasta colander. So, but dapat hindi natin puputulin yung pasta. Dapat buo siya. Kaya lang sumusot nga dun sa butas. Kaya I cut it. So, I can uh, put it na hindi magsushoot dun sa mga butas-butas ko sa pasta casserole. So, I'm going to time this for 10 minutes. Huwag nyo kalimutang haluin ka agad pagtalagay nyo. Pakpak ko sandali para lang mag-boil siya ulit. Pumalik siya dun sa pagkaroon ng boil mo. Kalimutan haluin. Always mix your pasta when you place it in the boiling water to prevent the pasta from sticking together. Okay, so make sure you uh, mix your pasta once in a while. So every maybe 2 to 3 minutes in order to ensure that the pasta is not sticking together. Okay? So I'm almost done. Uh, three three minutes more based on my timer. Uh, you can try it out. Just make sure that it's a little. Uh, it, it is still al dente, okay? So it's still firm to the bite, okay? So I don't want a uh, soggy pasta, and my pasta sauce is here and ready. So when the timer is up, I'm just going to drain it and pour it directly on my pasta sauce. So, my pasta is ready. Uh, there, my timer went off. Okay. So, make sure to wear mittens because as I lift this uh, pasta casserole, it's going to create steam and yung steam na yon might burn you. Okay. So, drain the water and then with all the excess water, you can pour it directly to your pasta sauce. Yan yeah, no, o, sabi ko sa inyo eh, uh, lumulusod siya dun sa pasta colander, kaya pinabuhos ko na. Tapos, uh, I'm going to put it back on the stove and uh, mix it dito uh, together with the sauce. So the heat, the remaining heat will emulsify the sauce together with the pasta. Okay. I'm going to pour maybe around one fourth cup of uh, 
olive oil again. To help it emulsify better. Then mix it like that. So see uh, how the amount of the sauce is uh, just right for the amount of the pasta. Okay, so this is done. So, pour lang natin. Lapit mo pa, baba mo pa konti ulit. Okay, so I'm just going to clean off the So I have the sausage, the olives, the bell pepper, and all the tomatoes are gone because it's already incorporated in the whole sauce. Okay. So let's taste. So, kabisado ko na yung lasa nito because I always prepare this. As I've mentioned a while ago, this is one of my, this is uh, one of the family's favorite pasta to prepare. And a lot of people have kept on, uh, asking me for this recipe so here it is now it's better with garlic bread but since it's pandemic we don't have access to everything all at once so I wasn't able to prepare it, so good. So please watch out for my channel. Uh, so this is still al dente. It's not overcooked. That's why I love using that brand of pasta. If you want to uh, have good quality pasta, you buy pasta that's a little bit more expensive. Just adding 10 or 20 pesos and it will change the whole dish. Okay? So, wag kayong magtipe dun sa 20 or 30 pesos minsan na ma ma mumura nyo dun sa quality ng pasta na mabibili nyo. Because good pasta really makes a, a difference in this dish. Okay, so I'm going to, for my next vlog, I'm going to prepare uh, beef bulgogi. So, make sure to like, click like, and subscribe to my channel. And please leave a comment if you have any requests for any dish that you might want to prepare for me next time. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!